All right, in this video, we're going to be looking at how we calculate real income, uh, which of course factors for what we call inflation. Now, inflation, as we know, is the uh, increase or the rise in the prices of goods and services, and as a result, can decrease our purchasing power. Um, so we want to factor that in when determining how much our money truly does increase. Uh, so the question, and you can read this in the description below the video, is if your income increased from $23,000 to $26,000 during a period when the rate of inflation was 4%, your real income after the raise was blank. Uh, so there's a couple of things that we have, a couple of variables that we have to work with. Uh, the first variable, of course, is our current income, uh, which we know is the $23,000. We also know, and we're going to call this the present value. And we also know that our income is going to increase to $26,000. And so this is the amount of money that we're going to have after our income rises. And of course, we know that the inflation rate, which I'm going to denote as a little i, is 4%. Um, so what is happening here, if you were to think about this uh, from a visual kind of perspective, is Although our income is rising, inflation is reducing the purchasing power. Uh, so if you were to think of this as a you know, kind of linear line here, and if our income is increasing, and this is $23,000, and over here is $26,000, that inflation is, in essence, eroding the purchasing power because what we could purchase at $23,000 is much different at 26 now that the prices of goods are increased by 4%. So the reality is, is that this $26,000 is actually worth less in real terms because of the impact of inflation. So the easy way to do this calculation, and it's very simple, is we're going to take the future value of our currency, which is going to be $26,000. And we're actually going to go ahead and divide that by the inflation rate. Now, if you divide it by four, you're going to get a very interesting number and you're going to lose any ability to infer what it actually means. Uh, instead, we're going to reduce it by the 4%. And the easiest way to do this is to divide it by 1.04. Uh, 0 0.04 being the uh, decimal equivalent of 4%. Now, if you do that and run through the calculations on your calculator, you're going to get $25,000. So what this means is that our $26,000 is actually worth the equivalent of $25,000 uh, when factoring in inflation. And so this makes it easy uh, to make a kind of comparative purposes, if you will, uh, because we're comparing, you know, really for the first time, this $20,000 or $23,000 rather, and we're comparing that to the $25,000. And so even factoring in inflation, obviously this was a, a very good raise. And so our raise, you could say, uh, more than compensated us for the rate of inflation. Uh, if, for example, the real income after factoring in inflation was about $23,000, then you would say that really uh, our raise uh, really just kind of uh, put us in the same financial position due to the increased price of goods and services.